Hey everyone, welcome to our off-grid homestead. Today's video, we're gonna talk about splayed leg and how to fix it. So splayed leg can happen to chicken, ducks, quail, and turkeys. And here at our homestead, we have chickens and quail, and this spring we'll be adding turkeys. So in our mission to be as self-sufficient as possible, we incubate and hatch out our own chicken and uh, quail eggs, and we'll be doing the same with the turkey this spring. So in doing that, sometimes you run into issues. And part of what we ran into, right now we're hatching out a batch of quail, and two of them ended up with splayed leg. And if we don't get it fixed, they or attempt to fix it, they won't survive. So we're going to do all we can to get that taken care of. So let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to need is something to put the quail into to get them to stand upright. And you can use a shot glass or something like that, but I don't have one available to use. So this is a seasoning shaker here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it in half and use that to work on the splayed leg. Okay, I've cut these in half with my dull rusty handsaw there, and I sanded the top edges, and I wanted to give them a little more protection because they're going to be standing in here, and I didn't want them to hurt themselves on the edge of this, so I put some electrical tape around the edge here to make it nice and smooth so they won't have any issues. So let's go inside and uh, get these quail squared away. Okay, this is splayed leg. See how his leg's coming out, and this one kicks out too. This one over here is the same way. This one here, you'll notice, has curled toes, so I don't know how he's going to do. But what we're going to do, take this little guy, or gal, and get him in here. He's fighting it. Get in there, little guy. Get in there. Get in there. Go fight it for a minute. But the purpose is, see their joints are weak, so it's pushing them out. So getting in here, it's pushing his legs up underneath him, and it's helping to get his joints in place and help strengthen those muscles. So I'm gonna leave him in there overnight. Get this little one in here. Whoa! I'm going to try. See? It's a strong, strong bird. So I want to help him survive if I can. He's got to get his legs squared away. He wants out of there, but it's going to help him. Once he calms down. See, that's already helping him stand up on his hind legs, which he wasn't able to do before. It's putting him up underneath him. So after some fighting, he's starting to get tired. But he's standing up on his hind legs, which he couldn't do before. That's helping him. So you may have to watch them a little bit. As you can see, this one settled in there. And her legs are up under her. But again, the curled toes, I don't know how she's going to do. We're going to let that, let these, these guys stay in here. And in the morning, we'll check them and uh, see how they're doing. So we got that one in his corner right there. These other quail will come out and go in the brooder box. So they don't leave them alone. And then we got the other one back in the corner over here. So we will pull them out in the morning and see how they're doing. All right, we got our two chicks out. The two little holders I made out of the, the seizing shaker, they didn't work. They needed to be a little bit taller because they kept climbing out of here. So we rounded up a couple of these little shot glass deals and, and they worked better. They worked a lot better. Now they're not perfect, but as you can see, they're able to get their feet under them a little better. And this one can walk around. I think, whoa, I think it's going to get stronger as time goes on. 
This one here, this is the curled toed one. She did better getting her legs under her. She's still fighting, but she can get her legs under her a little more now. So I think she's going to strengthen up. So this did help. If I think if I could have made these taller, because they got out of these two, but not as easily. It took them a longer time to do it. If I made these taller where they could stay in there better, we would have had better results. Now with the curled toe, this is how we're going to fix that. Imagine this smaller, and this is the, I'm going to try to hold these guys in here. This is the foot of the quail. You spread them out like this on a piece of tape in the position they're supposed to be in. All right. And then you wrap, this would be a bigger piece of tape, you'd wrap it over the top, and you make like a boot. Now you could use moleskin, this, the adhesive part of a Band-Aid, but that should help with the curly toe. So that's what we're going to do next. But right now, we do have success, as you can see, with the quail. Not perfect, but better. So I think they're going to improve and get stronger. We keep working on it. So we didn't have 100% success, but we did have some improvement. So we're going to keep working on these guys and get them to as close to as 100% as we possibly can. So that's the way it goes, living on an off-grid homestead. Things don't always go according to plan or perfectly. So you just got to be able to adapt and overcome. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, we'd like to invite you to do so. Those that have subscribed, thank you. We appreciate your support. Y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching.